Hey guys. <coughs> Sorry. Um, I've seen a couple of videos on uh, the website jacksreef.org, and um, everybody's putting videos up. So I figured I'd just make a quick video myself. Uh, it is like 8:39 o'clock, so I had to bypass the timer and turn the power compacts on so you can see a little bit better. And excuse this really bright light down there, it's refugium lighting, but I'll show you that whole thing in a minute here, but uh, it's a corner tank to start off with, uh, it's not your regular half circle corner tank, uh, it's what I was going for, but I got an awesome deal on this, so I got this, and this is like a, I'm trying to think of this, the shape, it's three, five sides, I don't freaking know, uh, Pentagon, I don't know, but it's uh, flat right here, then bend right here where you see the distortion, it's flat across there, has another bend right here, flat across there, so that's three sides up front, and then, ooh, almost not that over, and then you got the flat sides for the back, for the corner, this side's about three foot, that side's about two foot, the size is a little off, but it's perfect for what I want to do, so, uh, it gives us a lot more room here. I uh, see I got it stocked up. Uh, everything's closed up because, like I said, the light's been off for hours now. But uh, there's the rocks where the Green Star Pot is supposed to be. And you got your rainbow cordy over here. They're all shriveled up and sleeping. Same with the huge candy trees over there. And the, got the candy cane, the frog fly. Oh, a little quick story on this guy right here. See if you can see him. This little group right here. This flat piece of rock I got with a bunch of live rock I bought a while back and it was just a piece of rock that was sitting in the tank uh, a couple months passed a little meaty piece of something popped up in one of the little holes and I uh, started growing turned into one little piece and then two three months passed it turned into two little pieces well here the past two months this thing has exploded and there's now I want to say nine and a half pieces because there's a piece on there that's about to be its own little piece. So it's about ten pieces. I've been told it's Fabia. I wish I can get a better uh, view of it for you. But the outer ring of each one is green and the inside of it is red. Christmas colors. It's called a holiday, holiday spirit coral. <laughs> But it's it's it started exploding. I'm certain now that I switched it to a new tank, it'll probably slow down. But it's exploding. I, maybe I'll get a better picture of it when the lights are on. Woo! Dropped it there. Uh, maybe I get a bit better picture of it uh, when the lights are on tomorrow. Uh, but yeah, I got you know more more candy canes, some SPS down here, um, more grass, green star polish, some leathers. This leather ain't doing too good. I keep having, this is a devil's hand, I'm loving this guy, it gets freaking huge, and the crabs, I keep having to knock the crabs off of it, when I get done with this, I'm probably doing it again, I'm trying to save them, I don't know if they're eating him or the swine coat, what up, but they're doing something, there's another little devil's hand right here, he's doing okay, got the torch, green torch, got the pink torch, some big group of uh, trumpets that fell down, and I just haven't, Stuck my hand way down there to grab that, but I need to grab that, put that back up, and pick this leather toadstool up. Leather toadstool must, is my favorite. That little guy is, he's had a hard time trying to make it. He's getting knocked over, pushed down, all that good stuff. But, there you have it. Um, oh, the light. My buddy on the site, his name's Sea Bear. Sea Bear. I, I wish I'd memorized it, but. He said that when I put that posting up for needing light because uh, my corals were going without light two and three days now and stuff, he sat over here in ten minutes and brought this light for me to use and we got to talk and he ended up selling it to me for a really good deal. So, you know, big thanks to him again uh, for bringing this light and selling it to me. That was awesome. Saved all my coral, corals and everything. Um, the stand, I did some work to that myself. Got that rolling. Uh, it was a uh, it took some work to make it look pretty, but I still got to do the door. Now the door, um, 
I'm trying to think of some. Maybe y'all can help me. I'm trying to think of some kind of contraption or something that would latch it on there. It'd be fully functioning door. No worries about falling off or any funny stuff. But when I wanted to take it off, maybe it's pulling a pin or or you know doing something, some kind of quick disconnect to the effect of making the door just come all the way off. Just boop boop, set it to the side. Don't have to mess with it because uh, the experience I've had with doors is they always get in the way. Um, if there's no way for me to do that, then I'm going to just put uh, hinges on the key outside. That way it could swing to a full 180. So I haven't got the door yet. I still got to go to Home Depot, get some, some cheap wood, and cut that and all that good stuff. But there's my refugium. A uh, little story on this thing. I had to knock this piece of wood out right here while the tank was half full because my measurements were way off and then hold the tank up while my girl knocked it out tried to slide this in which took quite a bit of time uh, at least to me it felt like quite a bit of time and then she knocked this back in luckily knocking it in went smoothly because I was getting tired of holding it um, I, and here it is. This diffusion fits perfectly. I love it. Uh, got the protein skimmer. It's off. I need to take this out and clean it and all that good stuff. Uh, there's my return. I need to get a sock for it. I think that'll help me out a lot. Uh, I just haven't done that yet. But sorry for the shakiness. My son's crawling up my back right now. Uh, there's ball valve to cut off and stuff. That helps out a lot. I made sure I did that. I have no glue or anything on this. It's not dripping at all. I need to glue it because I'm scared it's going to pop off one day. Uh, and this is my return tube right here, pond tubing, one inch. Uh, oh, before I jump on the refugium, I did a Dursa overflow. And this is supposed to be super quiet. But right now you can hear it. Hold on. You can see the hole right here. It's supposed to have this cap on it. Uh, I need to drill a hole in there. What this does, when you drill a hole, it still allows air to get in there, but it baffles the noise to silence. You will not hear it when I do that. I'll make another video on that. Let's check that out. And and it's really simple to do it. Um, if you don't know about it, a uh, Dursa overflow is like... Okay, you got the bottom of your tank right here. Pipe comes straight up. It runs into a T, which the T will be like that. All right, and this is the open part you saw up here. That's the open part. And on the part that turns, you have a 90 degree elbow in that, so it's like a U turn. Well, that's why you got the open part, so when the water comes up, it doesn't hit that opening and not go in due to the air pressure. So it just rises up and then falls in the pipe. Um, so you screw the hole in the cap right there, put it on there, baffles the noise, nothing. I just haven't done it yet. Uh, it's a quarter of the noise we heard in the other tank, so I haven't been on, jumping on it. You know, I've had, you know, life happens, got a bunch of other stuff going on, but that's something I need to do. Okay, back to the refugium. Cool little tipster on this one. These lights right here, the uh, co coil lights, these energy saving lights, went to Walmart. These are 6,500K lights. Got two of them for eight bucks. These clip on contraptions here, the full setup, six bucks a piece. So you're talking six, twelve, you're talking twenty bucks. Taxes, what, twenty? 70, 20, 40, 20, I mean 21, 40. So for 21 dollars and 40 cents, I have efficient refugium lighting. These lights are guaranteed for 10 years, but I'm sure the Kelvin doesn't last that long. But even if I got to spend eight dollars every six months on these things, I'm not sweating it. I'm, I, they are keeping my kettle alive um, and doing a good job at it. As you can see back there. Uh, now, I did throw in some gasolina from the order that was going on the site from reefcleaners.com or .org, one of those. 
uh, but he's not doing all that great. He's kind of half died off. Uh, I'm hoping he's stabilized, but I'm not sure. And there's my main grows. Uh, I think they're doing good. They haven't withered away. They're still colorful. And this live stand in here, I actually bought a bag. I don't. I was kind of weary of it, but I bought a bag of live sand from Petco. Um, and it's actually. I mean, you can see the. You can see, son, please stop hitting me. Stop it. Hold on one second. Thank you. Okay, still hit me. All right, as you can see right here, little wormy organism lines. I see that one goes. You see some over here, back there. I mean, they can't. I mean, this stuff was bagged. When it, it I read the bag, it said it can. It's good for a year, but this stuff was bagged two weeks before I bought it. So I don't know if that's normal. Or maybe I just got lucky, but this live stand's gr doing great right now. Um, I want to buy some more and put a four-inch sand bed in here and see how that goes. But, uh, hey, you see I got rock rope. Again, my, my son's jumping on me now. Very sorry. <laughs> I should have cleaned this glass off before I made the video, but you can see all the rock rubble I got in there. Um, son, please give me two minutes, buddy. Two minutes. Um... Yeah, I mean, that's that's it. I mean, the, the refugium fits perfectly. As you can see, it's just, uh, I want to say it's a 30 gallon long. Might be a 20. I think it's a 30 long. I don't know. It's three foot long. It's, uh, I don't remember the other measurements. A foot, a foot, a foot in width. I don't know, but it's either 20 or 30, but it does the job. Ever since I switched to this thing from a triple filter in my old tank, this thing has just done phenomenal. No algae problems or anything. Uh, there's the first compartment, uh, skimmer, return. Only got two baffles here. One goes down, comes up, and you got the whole refugium area. And the return pump is in a little triangle back here. Got the Mag-18 on there. Uh, that's it. And I'm going to get a black sheet from Joanne Crafts and nail it up right here and bring it around and nail it up over here too and try and make this uh, fiesta job celebration I got back here look a little neater. I try to get my old cords and stuff rolled up but there's so many of them. I might just take some cloth and just tie all these together and make a cylinder and slide it over all that kind of make it look a little neater, but that's it. That's uh the tank in a nutshell. Well, that's a big nutshell. Big fifteen minute nutshell I just did. But that's it. Thank y'all for checking it out. And uh, any ideas on the door greatly appreciated. Um haven't thought too hard on it yet, but maybe somebody out there has already messed with something like this before and knows exactly what needs to be done. Um, oh, I, I don't think I told you I had one high door. I had two to throw in there, but this one is going great, and this is the magnet one. Love it. So much better than the uh, just the suction cups. It's hard with this half-inch acrylic, but it's uh, or quarter-inch, whatever it is, but it's going good. No return. It's it's got everything through the day. Everything kind of flows and stuff. This one goes. A little self fan. See, I'll throw those fins up for you. There it goes. A beautiful little man right there. And the uh, pajama cardinal. This guy's like freaking ten years old. A couple people try to buy him, but I don't want to sell the guy. He's been chilling around here for too long. Um. Clam, you've probably seen before that died. I don't know what happened with him before he moved the tank. Oh, and this is a whole new sand bed. All new right here. So, <laughs> I'll keep y'all posted on what dies as this cycles. <laughs> I don't know. We're going to see what happens. I'm hoping I don't lose much. There's no, still no tracks in it. I've been looking at it every day trying to see. But, no tracks. It is what it is. Alright, thank y'all for checking out the video.
Everybody else that hasn't put a video up, y'all go ahead and put one up. Let's see what thanks. Happy reefing.